everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. This is the third part of the series comparing miracle Grow to standard three parts compost. And um, this is my 12 year old, Allie. It was her science experiment. So uh, we're actually going to do one more episode, short episode, but this is the third. So I don't want to spoil anything. So this is not a spoiler alert, but uh, again, to remind you, we planted two pots with miracle Grow fertilizer, synthetic. That was her uh, science experiment. Two pots with uh, fabric pots with uh, compost. Partial uh, compost was standard uh, tumbler compost, worm compost, and then compost from uh, rabbit pellets. Okay, so um, much like a football game that you watch the whole game, four quarters, and it ends up in a 3-3 tie. It's a lot of what happened with this experiment. So don't expect any blockbuster uh, 40 to 3 victories. Didn't happen. Basically, it's equivalent, again, of watching an entire football game for two hours and ending in a 3-3 tie. So we'll show you the difference between the, uh, the two and two, and uh, we'll tell you what our ultimate findings are from this experiment. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are. Uh, let me show you the two and two. Uh, Allie, point out the two that are miracle grow. This one and that one. Those two, yes. So the bigger ones, the miracle grow, and the other two right there are the standard three parts compost. Now, what was interesting is that if you looked at episode two, go back and look at episode two from my channel, uh, the ones on the right here, the standard compost ones, um, they were not doing as well. Now you see they greened up real nicely. So they're not as big as the miracle Grow, but they greened up real nicely and they're really healthy plants. So when we compare the two and two, you'll see to start with the obvious thing I think on the left are the two uh, right here. Let me give you a close up. Uh, these are the bigger plants. Now when you use miracle Grow, the comparison I would tell you that's much like uh, let's say a, um, a man that's 18 to 20 years old. Okay. Uh, they can eat uh, regular food, good protein, all that type of stuff, healthy diet, and they're going to build muscle. But if you take a synthetic type of hormone known as steroids, you're going to um, develop muscle a lot faster. So that's essentially what I think what happened here, if I compare the two and two, is that when you add a synthetic element to this, in addition to standard potting mix, which has a little bit of nutrients, it boosted it. So what it boosted it mostly on was the nitrogen. So the miracle Grow liquefied nitrogen uh, made the overall leaves bigger, but the plant grew a lot quicker than its counterpart, these two over here. But as you'll see in a second, the fruit, there wasn't necessarily more fruit, but there was definitely more foliage because of the excess nitrogen from the synthetic fertilizer, miracle Grow. okay? So in addition, you know, we had, as you'll see here, there's a lot more buds on this, but these flower buds are not turning to fruit, all of them, for whatever reason, okay? And you have a little bit of leaf curl there as well, which is indicative of a bit too much nitrogen, okay, in the plant. So we took the standard formula for miracle Grow, but it didn't do as much. Now the other thing, so you'll take a look at these, the other two, much more healthier now in the leaves, um, no leaf curl. Um, and, you know, it's not as, uh, as you can compare these to this, it's not as big. Now, the other thing which I found which is very interesting is that the two that were from the miracle Grow, uh, they got a lot more disease, a lot more blight. And perhaps that that's because they grew too fast. I don't know. Leave me comments. But you'll see here there's pretty much blight all over the bottom of the plant, okay? And that is interesting, okay? A lot more blight for the miracle Grow plants. For the ones with compost, we hardly have any at all, hardly any blight at all on those plants, okay? Much more healthier with the standard organic compost. So again, I, I don't know, leave your comments, but perhaps when plants grow too fast and they don't have standard biological elements, uh, such as uh, positive bacteria uh, and fungi in the soil, they tend to not be as tolerant and resistant to disease, okay? These over here that got the blight just had the miracle grow. They had no natural compost 
uh, that would protect them against disease. So that's another big difference. So plants that have standard compost are going to be much better protected because of the uh, microbial elements and the fungi that are in the compost that do provide an element of protection for the plants. So the last thing which is probably um, the most obvious and again this is where I say a 3-3 tie. So you know when you look at the two plants the back plant there uh, had three pieces of fruit on it and the front plant had three pieces of fruit. Uh, over here the front one has one one uh, one fruit one tomato the back one has three so overall you know again this is like a three three tie neither of them did too spectacular for whatever reason um, maybe I got a bad batch of tomato plants or something from the nursery but neither did spectacular as far as tomato growth um, I'm not sure why but it is what it is and that's why, I, again, I, exp I express this as a 3-3 three, three tie. Nothing remarkable at all at the experiment, but it is what it is. So overall, uh, that is the comparison. The last one I'm going to do, and uh, we're going to be going out of town at some point in time in the future, uh, which, will be a, which will be very interesting, is a blind taste test. So I'll ta I'll, we'll test the tomato with standard compost, these two versus the one that was grown with miracle Grow. okay? So that is uh, kind of the, mostly the conclusion of this, and uh, hope you've learned a lot through this. And um, again, we'll let you know when we taste the tomatoes, which one tastes better, the organic or the, the miracle Grow. That's all we have for you. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this brief series comparing miracle Grow to standard compost. Take care, bye.